Mike Baccarello, and today we're going to take a look at a really easy to apply scale pattern from John Coltrane's solo on Mr. PC. Let's check it out. John Coltrane's tune, Mr. PC, is a minor blues in the key of C minor. So the scale pattern is, is, is the thing he plays to start his solo. Uh, he starts with... Now, what that is, is since we're in C minor, we're playing up a C minor scale, but he's utilizing this pattern. So this pattern is a note from the scale. In this case, we'll start with the root, C. And then we're going to go a half step below, back up to the note, and then we're going to skip up a third. So that's the pattern. And then he takes it from the root up to the second, same pattern, so second, half step below, second, and then we, we, we go up a third to the fourth of the scale. We do it one more time. On the third, so we go third, half step below, third, and then we go up to the fifth. So that's the complete phrase he plays. And so we can take this and apply it to more of the scale. So in this case, if I take, uh, you know, we're thinking C minor, I'm gonna take a C Dorian scale. I'm going to play this to that whole octave. So while Coltrane is using this pattern on a minor chord, we can apply this to any chord type we want, any scale type. You know, major scales, minor scales, altered scales, pentatonic scales, really anything you want. It's just a pattern of take your target note, go down a half step, Go back to your target note and then go up to the and skip to the next available note on the scale. So you're skipping up a third in this case. So if we wanted to play this through a major scale, we could go. And because the guitar is the way it is, we have a couple options of ways to play this. We could play it, you know, through a pattern like that, which I just played through, which would be, you know, that typical scale pattern. Or we could play it up and down one string. So when we're doing these things, we need to not be so concerned with keeping a fingering exactly the same, you know, as we play through, you know, the scale pattern. We don't need to worry about keeping exactly that fingering. If we have to move, so right there I have to move my finger back a little bit. So here I'm going to jump up a fret. More so the point is to get the notes rather than stick to your really comfortable fingering and that'll take a little bit of experimentation and we all might play it a little differently you don't have to play it the same way I just played it play it any way you want as long as you get the notes and as you explore different positions you're going to see more and more necessity for that in different spots you know one part of the guitar you might be able to stay really comfortable another part of the guitar you might have to move a ton to to make it work but it's worth exper experimenting and exploring this in all the different places 
because you never know where you're going to be when you might want to play this idea. I, I particularly like the going up and down two strings idea. You know, because it, it allows me to, to shift positions, but more so not really worry as much about a, a fingering pattern because I can go up and down and I know if I can see my scale, I can just move that way and then get through it and then wherever I end up or wherever I decide to end the idea, now I'm, I'm here now. To get the most out of this idea, you want to practice it, you know, in a bunch of different positions, different keys, all those different things. But realize Coltrane only used this for three notes of the scale. So you don't want to play this a ton, but or maybe you do sometimes. Maybe you want to play six repetitions of it, or maybe you just want one or two. You know, that was just one. Or I can go... You know, so you could use it a lot. You could use it a little bit. You could go up for a while. You could you could do this through a change. You know, you, you could start on one chord, do this, and then when you go to the next chord, as you switch the, the scale around you, you could just keep going through it. There's a lot of options for this, and it really comes down to taste and, and how you hear it happening. And then you could experiment and make your own variation of that. Instead of going up a third, if you went up a fifth. So there's a lot of options there for you. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, I hope this gives you something to think about. It's a e really easy pattern to apply. You just have to take the time to work it into your playing, try it in all different keys, try it all over the place, and just force yourself to use it a bunch. And it'll slowly come out in small ways, and you just want a little bit of it. But that little bit can get you through a lot of situations. Um, thank you. See you next time.